a simple decision. Singing, I go along life's road, praising the Lord, praising the Lord. Singing, I go along life's road, for Jesus has lifted my load. Called of God, we honor the call. Lord, we'll go wherever you say. Where you lead, come pain or pleasure, we will follow you every day. It had not even been a couple of days, no, not even a couple of hours since I had left the church doors boldly singing these hymns, and yet I already felt conflicted. Instead of choosing obedience and holiness, I had become weak and preferred the temporary comforts and compromises the world offered. How could anyone live exactly by God's word? Everyone lives by making compromises. Sometimes there is not much we can do. I listened to the sweet whispers from the people around me and wanted to choose what I could see, things that were beneficial to me. It was the night before a big decision. I was nervous and had trouble sleeping. When I finally fell asleep, I saw myself as a shabby, thatched house. Then I heard God's voice. Even if you were to live in a luxurious palace, a life without me is no different from living in a decaying, thatched house. I was so ashamed of myself. I could not look at the sun and felt as run down as the dark moss underneath the house's eaves. And God's heart towards me in my darkness and shabbiness was bruised from compassion. I closed my eyes and from my lips flowed a prayer. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. Psalm 119, 37. Making my decision the next morning was easy, for I no longer wanted to bruise God's heart.